of summer? In, you know what? It was actually, it really probably kind of happened. I was the record label before the record label. <laughs> yeah, because we were just like, hang, I was like a couple years old. And you know, so I'm out here making bank, and I think, <laughs> I, 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 think I think I could really contribute to this other band. One day, Michael Clifford messages me, because he's, he's heard of my drumming greatness uh, in the district. Local. Uh, so yeah, I joined the band, came in, a very intense, visionary type person, so that's where, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> How old are you? Like 12? The bane of my existence. <laughs> so you and this 12-year-old <laughs> are going to be the biggest band that always kind of uh, spearheaded the, the dream overall. And, and yeah, definitely Bring attempted to, to keep going. So it's a f I've always um, spoken about Five Seconds of Summer um, as kind of a mind works different. But I know for, for me, um, to the I band, because there's different kind of uh, musical parts that need to be, you know, played with each band member's personality. So we put that together, but everyone hears a new song differently. It's, it's comes in, comes in different, different mm. ways. Yeah. But you're coming with and, and I know I write best when my idea kind of doesn't, when Michael doesn't like my idea, <laughs> I fight for him to like my idea. <laughs> and then it turns out great, which is the weirdest. Yeah. Like, is the totally. energy between the four of you. Totally. Yeah. It's great to be able to have a, an respect idea. It. Yeah. I think, I think, oh, sorry. Um, I think, you know, that we needed to push ourselves so we be can become individually self-sufficient songwriting wise, uh, produ like in production wise, like, you know, and, and as individual artists, yeah. we need to learn about each in other hotel, or living together in a house, wherever it may be. So it was just a it was a different year. We all kind of had our own places, places. Something, which is like a massive arena. It's like playing this like Staples Center. Yeah. Which um, collectively yeah. is like three hundred something <laughs> thousand people, which is and they'll play matinees like one at lunchtime and then one at dinner. Yeah. And it's 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 what you do with the opportunity. It's not like you know how it's given. To you. Are feeling what we're doing, and and you know I I really like looking from the drums. I look forward and I look at Luke singing these songs, and I look to my right and there's Michael and Callum. And the thing I'm most proud together of together and 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 still be hungry for what. What we have in comfortable yet. for us too. Like we need to. <laughs> <laughs> for about, for yeah. about a week, my yeah. face was on the. It's not all a quite that that contrast of being like <laughs> the pink shirt. <laughs> Asked in the moment, yeah. we thought about the way a band meeting a couple of weeks ago. More like never, we're still, I mean, I don't know. know. I, I get so. rid of those. I see a, a curl. If you, if there's they, a big curl at the front. The head hey. grows out. Exactly. Covering nothing. Mm -hmm. I ain't covering up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what is being.